my god, okay, fine, let's get this out of the way right now. I know it looks like someone actually busted on my face. I got a cold sore. It sucks so bad. I have to be on camera so much this week. Oh, it's so brutal, man. It's so brutal. Have you ever, like, had your worst acne right before, like, prom? Or you got the worst haircut right before your biggest event? Like, that's how I feel right now. But it will not stop Wheel of Mutt. Somebody nutted on my lip. <laughs> but that's how today's episode is gonna be. It's not like you guys are here for my looks, right? Now let's talk Wheel of Mutt. The script writers were in their duffel bag last season. There's no doubt about that. And although we're off to a rocky start at the start of this season, it is the same script as last season, so I'm not that worried. Last season, we started out 0-1. However, we did complete our challenge wheel, so we salvaged Fred Warner, and amazing news, they're dropping a 97 overall Jason Kelsey. Turns out this center prestige might have been one of my best prestiges ever. Dude, I mean, a 97 center is so good. I'm almost 100% sure they have not put that in the game yet, though, even though there's like a ton of Super Bowl players in the stores right now. Oh, by the way, you guys are seeing this video the day before the Super Bowl. So I'm going to give you my Super Bowl prediction right now. This is coming out on Saturday. My prediction is the Eagles beat the Chiefs by three. I'm going to say 31 to 28. And I have officially made my prize pick for the Super Bowl. Mahomes more than half a passing yard. Duh. And Jalen Hurts more than 46 and a half rushing yards. For anyone out of the loop, I recently started working with prize picks. They are amazing. It's the easiest way to play daily fantasy sports. And they have this crazy promotion for the big game where Mahomes only needs to throw for half a passing yard. So that's a free square. Take that one. And then, like I said, it's Jalen Hurts season, so I'm doing more than 46 and a half rushing yards. It is the biggest game ever. I don't think they're going to be preserving the quarterback. I think he's going to be running like a madman. I can't wait to see it. So on the top of the description is a link to prize picks. Code MMG is an 100% deposit match up to $100 for first-time depositors. So let me know what you guys think. I can't wait for the big game. A huge shout-out to prize picks for sponsoring, and enjoy the rest of the video. Oh my god, he already came out! <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to wait! Let's go! Prestige God. We're gonna have to wait on Justin Jefferson, all right? But for now, we get the best center in the game. So he has 98 run block, 98 run block power, 97 run block finesse. This is an end game center. I will never be replacing him, no matter what. Unless, of course, he gets a golden ticket, which is not gonna happen. Or maybe he gets Super Bowl MVP. You never know. Don't count it out. Ooh, he gets a zero AP post up in the fifth slot or a zero AP nasty street. He gets secure protector for one. I believe secure protector stops inside stuff. I'm actually actually gonna go with post up. I'm gonna go with the free post up. I just did a little research. It seems like a lot of people are running post up over nasty streak on their centers. So I'll take their word for it. Plus my left guard and right guard are silvers right now. So they're gonna need all the help they can get. And if Kelsey can dominantly win the blocks with them, that will be awesome. Takes a lot of pressure off of them. So the Jason Kelsey <laughs> prestige <laughs> pays off. It really only paid off because they made it to the Super Bowl. I don't think he would have gotten another card if were it not for that. I'm a happy camper right now. He's Boosted to a 98. He's officially the highest overall player on my team. As for the team, we're a 78 overall. We know it's going to be a really, really difficult game. It was tough last game. We got absolutely massacred. I think we definitely have to get Elijah Hicks out of there. I got to get a strong free safety in because he was a big liability last game. And then we go quarterback and halfback if I get to choose. I guess let's see what this wheel spin gives us and we'll go from there. And all right, gentlemen, the first wheel spin from the pre-Super Bowl episode. You guys have so much good content. You get this wheel of mutt. You get the Super Bowl tomorrow in real life. This spin sucks so much late in the season. Like, it's actually useless. But it is so good right now. I can get three packs from the store that cost coins. There is a Super Bowl fantasy pack. It looks like it guarantees elite players. I think we go three of these. That's definitely the route we take. And I swear to God, if I pull 97 Jason Kelsey, I'm gonna put my fist through my wall. You guys remember when I pulled 94 all Madden? Hey, you know what? I never had a punter last year. So there's a chance I... Oh, just kidding. I get two picks this round. There's no way I'm taking him. Bobby Wagner. 85. Our third player is an AKA that actually could be nasty. Hey, it's the low overall milkman. We didn't actually lose the milkman. We just downgraded him. I think Wagner JJ is pretty obvious here. I love the punter, but I can't actually use him. Super Bowl players. Now we get Reggie Raglan, another middle linebacker. I could kind of lock out my linebackers right now or Milton Williams at D tackle. I'm actually going to go Milton Williams. I just got Bobby Wagner. I don't think I need Reggie Raglan. I'll take a D tackle. Then our round three's got the highest overall players. Another, don't you dare give me 
middle linebacker. Another D tackle and Justin Watson. You know what? I'll take it. All right, pack number two. I wouldn't hate some O line. Mike Hughes. I'm really hoping that's not one of my best options. That sucks. Mercedes Lewis. Uh, I don't know if I'd go that either. Zeke. Yikes. This first round is a bummer. I guess I'll go Mike Hughes and Zeke. Our Super Bowl pack, Derek Nottie again. Our second round also has a left guard. Definitely take that. All right, we got a left guard. Strunks. Ooh, I might take him and put him at free safety. Unless this is really good. Nope. Trey Flowers, it is. All right, third and final Super Bowl pack. Steve Atwater, 87 to start us out. I don't mind if I do. Kyler Murray. I got a QB. I almost don't want Atwater because I already have a strong safety and a free safety. But I can get John Runyon put in a right guard. I got a QB. Kind of sucks ass, but I got a QB. Dude, what's with all the D tackles? Danny Shelton and a right tackle. I have a left guard, a right guard, a right tackle. Tackle. Final round. I might take Tevin Coleman. It just depends what this is, but I might. I'm taking him. Damn, we didn't really pull anything that great, but we filled a lot of important positions. All right, so here's what the team looks like right now. I got Trey Flowers at free safety, Wagner at outside linebacker, Mike Hughes. Actually sucks. He's horrible, but we're gonna do our best to get somebody else in there. Milton Williams, JJ Watt, and then on offense, my offensive line. Dude, my offensive line's actually pretty good now. That's huge. However, I didn't put in Kyler or Tevin Coleman yet. I guess I'll put in Tevin Coleman, but I kind of anticipate these next two wheel spins, I get somebody else. Let's just see. Okay, with this wheel spin, I would love to get a quarterback that's not Kyler Murray, but I'm stuck with Kyler. I know we can get the job done. I actually had him as my quarterback in a different video. Wow, I've been getting this one a lot. Five Madden 20 packs match the player. So for example, if in Madden 20, I pulled Lamar Jackson, I could get the best version of Lamar Jackson in Madden 23. All right, five game changer packs. Let's see what we got here, gentlemen. I think a cracked quarterback is best case scenario. Ooh, Brian Burns. Doesn't he have... Oh, wait, no, no, no. He doesn't. Brian Burns has a mid. He has a 91 overall. Michael Strahan ain't that bad. Corey Clement, it's funny. It's a Super Bowl past Eagles player. Desmond King. Dan Bailey would be good. And Derek Brooks would be really good. Derek Brooks has an insanely good card. It's just not the position I want. Desmond King has a 95 overall corner. Champ has a 96, which I've used before. And Derek Brooks has a 96. Okay, these are three excellent options right here. Right now, I'm leaning towards Desmond King. I'd want Desmond King the most out of any of those. Matt Ryan has an insane QB called Matty Ice. He's got 87 speed. He's a 96 overall. Ooh, he's good. Dude, I might go Matt Ryan. I'm definitely leaning towards that. I don't know what I could get that would supersede that. If I pulled Derrick Henry, maybe that's the only thing that would supersede Matt Ryan. Alex Okafor, Carl Lawson, Kevin Green, Derrick Brooks again. Miles it's got a good card. Yeah, it's gonna be Matty. It's Matty Ice. And there he is in all his glory. Matt Ryan, Matty Ice. 87 speed is crazy. I can't believe they gave him that. Throw under pressure is 97. Incredible. He's six foot four. Uh, his throw accuracies are gonna be amazing. The fact that he's 87 speed makes me really like this. I was worried he was gonna have like 60 speed. He does get his signature ability. Although I'll be honest, I don't know which one it is. It's Gambit. Starts on faster passes that can't be picked off by AI defenders. That's awesome. Does that technically operate? as Gunslinger. Sorry, Glock Purdy, but Matty Ice is taking over. Ooh, he gets nasty abilities in the final slot. Hot Route Master, Gunslinger Identifier. I'm gonna run Hot Route Master, Fearless, and then probably Set Feet Lead or something like that if he gets it. Set Feet Lead for 3 AP. So he gets Set Feet Lead, Fearless, Hot Route Master. I might have to rethink this in the future because this is very expensive. 7 AP just for Matt Ryan. I think in the long run, I probably don't need Hot Route Master since Hawkinson can get Tight End Apprentice, but for now, I'm cool with this. That leaves the final spin of today's episode. I'm hoping it can be a defensive player, probably a really good corner. Look at a corner would be the best case scenario for me. It's playoffs 90 to 95. To be totally honest with you guys, I don't know why Shaquille Griffin keeps getting cards, but he got a 93 overall corner. This is a 90 to 95 playoffs card, and he's pretty damn good. He's really just like a very solid corner all around. He's not incredibly tall. He's not incredibly fast, but he's just good. Pretty physical too, so I'm excited to have him. We're gonna go Shaquille Griffin for my corner three. We get Mike Hughes out of there. We got Trey Flowers at strong safety. My team can very much win games right now. Not sure what ability he gets. He gets something for discounted, though. I'm gonna give him deep out zone KO, and I'll probably switch him in Sauce. Then Sauce can be my slot corner. All right, Shaquille Griffin is the final addition today. So, Matty Ice, Shaquille Griffin, and a ton of role players. This is a huge team-building episode right now, but we gotta come out with a dub to keep him. All right, so here's how it looks. Defense, we got Fred Warner, Troy Palomalu, Micah Parsons, Shaq Griffin, AJ Watt, Milton Williams, Sauce Gardner, Megatron, and Trey Flowers up top. Then, offensively, we got a brand-new offensive line 
line other than Rasheed Walker, who is still putting in some reps over there at left tackle. We got Justin Watson at wide receiver, Tevin Coleman at halfback. It's funny I say Tevin Coleman. I never looked at his stats. How good is Tevin Coleman? 91 speed, 89 excel, 91 change of direction. He's just mid. But you know what? I could give him an ability. I'm going to give him jukebox because nobody can stop me. And lighten up Tevin Coleman makes his 12 of 12. Oh my God, I forgot. Tevin Coleman is a Falcon and he gets to play with his boy, Matt Ryan. That's actually fire. Let's go. Let's hop into this game. Let's get a huge W, boys. And I got to spin the challenge where I can't forget. Let's see his top three first. Shit. He's got the Jalen Hurts. The rest of his team isn't too scary, though. Of course, the challenge wheel before I return this kick. I got to see what our challenge wheel is going to be. Looks like it. Oh, not zero turnovers. Actually, I could do that. Oh, this is a tough one. Best player cannot lead the team in yards. So I'd say the best player on our offense. It's tough because like, how do you determine the best player? I'm just going to go by overall. TJ Hawkinson is the highest overall player on my offense. The next highest is Justin Jefferson. After Justin Jefferson is Tevin Coleman. So TJ Hawkinson cannot lead this team in receiving yards. Let's just see how this first play opens up. I see Coleman. Great route. I got rocked. We may actually have the blockers for it. Hey, Devin Coleman, third and one. I'm gonna go Coleman out the backfield. I'm just gonna take this first down. Dude, I'm getting hit. Now it looks like Matt Ryan's gambit ability does turn off after four plays and it probably charges back up. I don't get it for the entire game. But look at Jason Kelsey. And that is literally Keontae Ingram who just got seven yards rushing right there. Second and three. I see Justin Jefferson. I wanna make sure, no way. That was Justin Jefferson's first touch of the football. Dude, this happened in another game. Maybe Justin Jefferson is just kind of fumble prone. That was the first time he touched the football the whole game. You can't even say he was tired. That sucks. All right, we got to fight through it. Tough fumble to start this game out. Oh, I almost had that too. Ah, uh, good throw. I am kind of scared of a run. There it is. E, nice tackle by Shaq Griffin. I don't think he runs it again. He doesn't. He's going to pass. I think I've got everything. No way. Hey, let's go. Great work defense. He goes for it. He turned me over first. He's going to go for it. Oh, no. I'm on Otito Agbania. He goes with the whip route, and he is going to get it. I will say, even if I wasn't on Otito Agbania, I wasn't going to stop that because I wasn't going to go over to that whip route. I think he gets that no matter what. Now he runs it. Kind of figured. And that's where Fred Warner is. Second and goal. Oh, I'm scared of the run, man. He's not going to run it. He is really just camping in that pocket. Let's go. Dude, is he getting scared or what? I swear he had like three different passes. And he's going to settle for the field goal. Dude, he converts on a previous fourth down. And now he's going to now he's gonna take it. I'm, I'm so happy about that. I'm not going to lie, though. That's so unfortunate about Justin Jefferson. He had no reason to fumble. But he fumbled. Tevin Coleman, get a little spin. Nice work. Ooh, I'm really liking Tevin Coleman, dude. Let's hit Coleman out the backfield here. Beautiful. My best player is definitely not leading in yards right now, so that's good. But I do want to hit my best player. I want to hit Hawkinson here. I'm going to hit him. He looked right at that. I don't know if Hawkinson was open. I'm going to look at Mike Irvin. What a window! <laughs> if that's 96, Mike Irvin, that's a touchdown. But that's a beautiful throw from Matty Ice on third and 10. That's a huge conversion. I, I still believe in the run. Let's go. Oh, dude, who put up a dog shit block on Carmichael? Was that Irvin? Oh, we had that. There's Coleman. Beauty. Dude, there's a D tackle about to come light me up. Do I just take this? We play for the win, gentlemen. We always play to win, gentlemen. There he is. Beauty. Beauty. And he gets ball at half, so I have to score with no time. I can't give him the ball back. Keontae Ingram is in because our boy is getting hit right now. I'm just going to go down. That is fine by me. I'm going to go five wide. Oh, Justin Jefferson. Hey! No! He's got a fumble in that drop right there? Oh. Uh, I need these points because he gets ball at half. I need these points. There's nothing wrong with my abilities. That fumble. Oh, that fumble. All right, hey, that's okay. The fumble sucked. We've got a whole second half to go actually get ourselves in the end zone. Prove that we deserve to win this ball game and win this ball game. All right, three to three. Make a mistake. Throw that post. Throw it. Throw the deep post. Yes. No. <laughs> Shit. I literally told him to throw it. I literally said throw it. And he throws it for a touchdown. That was a hell of a ball. Dude, I thought for sure that Palomalu was going to be able to catch up to that. And all of a sudden, I'm down by seven. We got Phillips. 
The silver! I think it's... Is that Kyle Phillips or something like that? Why is Justin Watson not in? Why is that bozo in? I, I, he must be at, like, my slot receiver or some stupid thing like that. Hawkinson, monster catch. Second and five. Go right behind Kelsey. Ooh, Kelsey to the second level. I'm not gonna lie, though. Kelsey with nasty streak would have flattened his user there. There's, there's no way I run right behind Kelsey again and we're money. Yep. Hey, Tevin Coleman out to the 49. Watson's up there. He's in the window. Ooh, what a laser. Clamped like crazy, but Hawkinson's got one this time. He misses. He gets ran over. And Hawkinson is to the one. Oh, to the one. I'm going to run this. Let's go. Quick base. Get in there, Coleman. Get in there, Coleman. And punt player. Put seven up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not seven yet. It's not seven yet. It's not seven yet. It is now seven. Let's go. Does he just do the same thing? Nope. What the fuck? What, what was that? I've never seen that before. What was that? Shit, I'm on the wrong dude. <gasps> I almost lurked him. But do Tito on body up. Clamped the corner. Nice ball. Make a mistake. Make a mistake. You know you want to. Big hit, Fred Warner. You gotta be thinking about making a mistake. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna not turn the ball over, right? Hell of a dude. This Jalen Hurts is a god. Holy shit. What do you know? Fourth quarter tied up. Wheel of Must script writers are back in their bag. Nice throw. And it's a touchdown. Two minutes, 40 seconds, down by seven. My offense is not spectacular, but we've made it work. This is gonna be a really tough touchdown, but we gotta go get it. Coleman. Ooh, he's on it, but he just wasn't in front of it. That's the two minute warning, and I've got a crucial third and five right now. I'm tempted to run the ball. I, we follow Jason Kelsey. I think I can get this on third and five. Let's believe in Coleman. Coleman, third and five, follow Kelsey. Follow Kelsey. Let's go. I fell, but that's a first. Irvin? Irvin with a very nice whip route. Dude, didn't Michael Irvin like just recently, didn't he recently get fired for, for like an uh, assault allegations or something? Something shitty. I thought this was going to be my best power up legend and all of a sudden he's getting in trouble. He's there. He's there. Philip, don't bubble. No, it's the silver. Matty Ice is legit, bro. 17 for 21, 90. There he is. Hawkinson, high ball, comes down with it. Let's go. There can't be any time on this clock when I score. I can't give him time to get in field goal range. All right. All right, Justin Watson. Ah, oh, script writers. Why, script writers? Why do you do this to me? Why do you raise my heart rate like this, bro? I'm not built for this. Somebody, dude, do the script writers need a raise or do they need to be fired? I can't figure it out. Quick base got us the touchdown last time. I still have a timeout to use. Let's go, Coleman. Get your ass in there. He fought his way up to the two. I respect that. Jefferson, he's out! Got him! Let's go! What are we fucking made of? You think I'm giving you a chance? I'm putting this game away. Main coverage. Hawkinson out route. It's there. Hawkinson! What is that? What is that? He had him! Oh my god, I thought that was a sure fight. Look at this. Look at the separation. And then he just glitches up and steals the ball. What the fuck is that? Oh, 18 to say it was game over. Great game. I can't wait to watch that highlight. Dude, I, I as soon as I snapped the ball, I was like, oh my god, we just won the game. The separation was ridiculous. It's script writers, I actually hate you. Whoever wrote the script for this game, bro, you're fired. So I'm in five wide. I motion Phillips over to distract his user. Out the gates? That's like eight yards of separation. I throw it as soon as I can. Snap, throw. Look at this. What happened? It's like Hawkinson slowed down. It's just an animation. It's just a stupid fucking animation. It forces Hawkinson to slow down. Your hands are in front of him. Your body's in front of him. So how does the ball... Dude, look at the ball glitch. Watch this ball glitch, bro. Watch this ball glitch. Up and out. Look at the trajectory. The whole trajectory of the ball changes. Oh, oh, that hurts so bad. Tevin Coleman had 85 scrimmage yards. TJ Hawkinson had 62. So I did complete my challenge, but the question would be, what do I salvage? Now, I could salvage the wheel spin where I got three store packs. That would mean I get to keep my left guard, my right guard, my right tackle. I'd keep Justin Watson. I'd keep Trey Flowers. I'd keep Wagner. I'd keep Milton Williams. I'd keep JJ Watt. That's a whole lot of players. I'm definitely not keeping Shaq Griffin. He is really good, but in comparison, no. I keep Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan was crazy good. None of that was on Matt Ryan. We we just got so unlucky that game. The fumble and that last play. If either of those go our way, we win the game. I got to breathe this one in. <sighs> breathe this one out and make my decision in the next episode. Uh, so the start of next episode, you'll see my team. You'll know. We now move to 0 and 2. So if I want a chance at making the playoffs, I must win the next five games in a row. All right, boys. I love you. Thanks for watching as always. Let's redeem ourselves next game. Somebody find the script writers and talk to them for me, bro, because I'm pissed. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace.